yeah, man, that Denver omelet was super bomb, bomb dangity good. I haven't had a Petro omelet in a while, not since I was over the road. So that was at least since last July, before I told Knight to go stick it up their ass. I didn't really say stick it up your ass, but you know, basically, you know, it's got tired of their bullshit. Mm, I quit. Now I'm with right away. Yeah. I don't know, but anyways, you know, there's nothing like an early Sunday morning. Because everybody that was up partying, drinking, and everything last night. Which, surprisingly, last night was not me. I was not a part of that. But, there's nobody out. Or very minimal people out right now. And, I like that. Very minimal. It's very quiet. It's very peaceful. Sunday mornings are the best. Christina's mom is in town. She's been here a week now. And she leaves this Friday back to Ohio. And she's kind of sad and broken up about it because I guess she fell in love with Francine. Who wouldn't fall in love with Francine? <sighs> so, yeah, I decided I'm going to start over with this vlogging thing and just videos in general. Yeah, I know I made this thing the last probably the last video you've seen, I don't remember, I don't really look at them, you know, after I make them, and, you know, get them uploaded and stuff, well, it was about no excuses, but, dude, I don't know, I just, like I said before, you know, my life is very boring, you know, you go to, you wake up, get ready for work, go to work, come home, eat, go to bed, do it again the next day. That's it. Work and sleep. That's all I do. <sighs> but you know, so I'm going to do me a challenge. I'm going to try doing a daily challenge. Once again, record every day. Don't matter if it's shitty, if it's fucking good, whatever. You know, I'm just try to do it again challenging myself and I've been depressed I've been fighting stuff and not feeling no motivated or none of that crap man I don't know I just don't know and it starts you know maybe these daily vlogs when I was recording daily made me realize you know just how boring and shitty my life is yeah, you know, some people would probably change with me. You know, have a truck driver license, truck driving job, a good woman, a new little baby, somewhere to stay, money. But all my money goes to bills like everybody else because, you know, I'm still struggling with that, trying to get my credit cards paid down. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. I don't know. I'm just starting over. I'm trying this again. Reprogramming my brain and everything. So, here I am. I got a swing here in the Walmart to get a couple things. Francine needs butt wipes. And Mom wants to do a lasagna because today we're going to do an early Easter dinner. For Dottie and Francine and Christina because we don't know when exactly or if Dottie's gonna come back out which is you know uh, Christina's mom so that's what we're doing and last night they Christina and Dottie decided that they wanted to color some eggs and my mom wanted me to take photos of it to document it because they have never ever done it together and I was like so tired and beat up you know depressed I don't know what's going on with me dude 
I just have this like constant energy drain. I get these bursts of energy and motivation and come on man, let's do it. And then two seconds later, <sighs> fucking I don't know man, this drain. It's like somebody unplugged me or something or took my battery out. I don't know what's going on. Even like now, okay, it's uh, 7.42 right now. I woke up at about 4.45. Wide awake, ready to hit the world. I unpacked my cameras, dusted off my bag. Well, didn't really dust it off, I just pulled it off. Did a couple little, you know, on it. But I have my cameras charging, except for my, you know, my big fancy... Nikon D71 or 7200. I don't remember which Nikon it is. It's pretty fancy. It's the most fancy one I got or ever had. 1200 bucks for everything. I mean, that's pretty pricey. And that's another thing. I don't use it. I don't use my cameras. I don't do anything. I have all the recording gear, you know, sound equipment, stage lighting, and all that stuff, and I don't use it. Why? I don't know. I really don't know. Is it just stuff to have? Do I really... Do I really want it? Do I have an intention to use it? Well, the music stuff, the recording, sound, and all, lights, and all that... Yes, there was definitely a very strong intention of using that equipment for the band. But my brother, Bubby... He'd rather deal with car stuff instead of guitars. He put his guitar down for his guitar. I mean, for his car. You know, it's, and it brought him a bunch of drama. Not only, you know, with the, the racing people, but with the cops and stuff. He has all kinds of tickets and stuff. And he missed a court date on Thursday or Wednesday, something like that. And he tried to go on Friday, but the court's here for some reason, are closed on Fridays. That does not make sense to me. Why would the court be closed on Friday? So, he's probably going to get a failure to appear on that. You know, I worry about my family. I do. I don't necessarily show it. You know, because I just... It's one of these... You know, everybody's responsible for their own actions. Everybody's responsible for their own life. You know, if you... You can't blame somebody else for the failures or the successes in your life. It's only you. It begins and ends with you. Nobody did anything to you but you. Well, yeah, you might have got have a broken heart, which I had for a long time, and I blamed my ex for that. You know, the whole Filipino thing, bring her over here, then we get pregnant. She aborts my son after leaving me. And then, yeah, I spent at least a good 10, 11 years of crying, being mad, just having this fucking bad attitude about everything and everybody. And I think that's how a lot of people remember me by. Because there's a long time when I was just a. A hellion, an asshole person, you know. And I'm just trying to get my stuff back together. Well, my life's falling back together, you know. I got Christina, I got Francine now. <sighs> and that's a lot of stress with Francine, okay? You know, premature baby. But she had her last lung doctor appointment on Friday. Uh, for her, her shot, she get she used, used to have what's called Synergis shots. It's for her lungs, and while she was still inside Christina, Christina had to have a couple of them shots to help Francine. And then for the last four months, Francine's been getting those as well, direct to her. But there's a follow-up in August, I think. And, you know, the, the heart doctor 
Gave her a 90 year warranty on her heart, so that's really good. I don't know, it's just very stressful. I don't know. Plus I think I'm having adjustment issues. You know, being single and free, driving around the country, doing what I want, doing this, doing that. You know, now I'm a family man, and I just turned 38 in February 22nd. You know, turning gray, I'm almost 40. I mean, what's up, man? I don't know. I'm having a hard time with this, I guess. I don't know, I just need to pull my head out of my ass and get shit done. It's like going in here to buy some lasagna, which Mom wanted to do yesterday, but I didn't do it. And I gotta get Francine some butt wipes. Okay, got the butt wipes. With the dory on it. And the lasagna. And I gotta do the dew, man. So I got five Mountain Dews. And I got this desk light. That can bend every which way. But should come in handy, especially like this morning. Because uh, Christina and Francine were sleeping and I didn't want to wake them up. So I was using the, the flashlight on my phone. <sighs> I still woke up Christina though. And I guess my moving around was waking up Francine. I don't know, dude. So... So I have a tendency to wake up early before everybody else. I go to bed late, and then I wake up super early. I don't know. It's just what I... Okay, made it home. Now I gotta figure out how to carry all this in, hopefully, in one trip. But I locked the door when I left, so I don't know how this is going to work. Well, I managed to do it. Got everything except for the lasagna in my left hand and I had the lasagna in my right hand and then set that down on the chair outside in Jiao Jiao's chair and then here I am I had unlocked the door now I gotta put stuff away <sighs> man that wore me out well look who's up and drinking her milky cow and she has a real tear she was just crying over there, Christina was undressing her. She was being a little fussy. But, Francine, all it takes is a boss. Most of the time. Right? Yep. Well, she starts saying hungry first, though. Yeah, we'll have to get that on camera. Because nobody's going to believe a four month old is saying hungry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So I got this hooked up. Can't really tell nothing now because it's daylight in here. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. Could like tighten this up just a bit. Yeah, so we don't have to turn on the big overhead light in the middle of the night. Turn this on. The idea was use a little clamp light piece which is currently holding the baby monitor camera up because I can't really screw any screws anywhere. I'd rather have it up there shining directly down onto Francine's bed. That's a total mess right now. Yeah, I have I, to clean it. And so the clamp light thing is holding the camera on at kind of like a sideways angle for the monitor that's out in the kitchen. And here's my cameras. That one's charged. That one's charged. That one's charged. That one's still charging over there. The Q4, that's the Zoom Q4N. My uh, old JVC Everio. When I was over the road, I used this for my time lapse. I was hoping to get time lapse this morning, but the damn battery was dead and I didn't feel like running a plug out there and then setting up the tripod and all that and letting it watch the sun come up that would have been cool though 
maybe tomorrow if I wake up super early. Uh, my Zoom Q8 and my Zoom Q4. <sighs> yeah, so all these are charged except for the Q4N for some reason. And then the extra battery by the bed, that's charged for the Q8. So maybe I'll put the extra Q4 battery in the charger. I'm not sure yet. I'm just trying to charge our thing up. And I did not see my dash cam in here and anywhere you used to have a dash cam well, I still do have a dash cam but where the hell is it I don't think it's in this bag because because this is my Nikon uh, P520 bag with extra gizmos for you know stuff there's the P520. Oh, excuse you. Such a big burp. Just for a one ounce bottle. You just had a shot. <laughs> yeah, so I can't find my dash cam. And that sucks. So that wasn't not enough milk for you, Francine? Mommy's getting more, okay? She's getting it right now. Well, while her milky is cooling down, yes, yeah, she's a little bottle monster. She loves milk. So she has to deal with her her minty, her pacifier, which she loves. She loves her pacifier, but sometimes it just does not do the trick. But obviously, right now, it is doing the trick. Yep, and I'm telling all your secrets. Ha uh ha. -huh. Can I have some of my secrets? Oh yeah, check this out. This is funny as hell. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it looks like a fish or something. She's doing it kind of slow right now, but when she's like super sucking on it. There we go. <laughs> It's so nice and quiet out here, dude. Look at that sky. Definitely feels like it's going to rain. But this is Reno. For what it looks like and what it feels like, are usually opposite of what's really going to happen. That's the way it is. Yeah, I got old Lucille here. I installed hood pins. And uh, finally got all the, the hood latch pieces, so I don't have to deal with the barrel locks anymore, which is really nice. But I'm still on a mission to find my dash cam. I thought it was in my laptop bag, but it's not, because that's where I used to put it. You know, when, when we're coming home for home time, I put it in my laptop bag. But it's not there. But I was doing a, a real big pack up and I thought I put it in a camera bag and it's not there either. So there's only two, maybe three places left where it could be. One is my briefcase and two is the electronics box. I used to keep, have all my over the road electronic stuff in. So hopefully it's in one of those. Well, it's looking in here, and I'm not seeing it anywhere in my briefcase. Yeah, Christina's in here, in her Snoopy nightgown thing. Yeah, it's not in there, so I got to unbury this box from this, and this, and this, 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 all this. Okay, got all these wires in here. Let's see what we can find. Okay, cell phone booster, CD on the bottom, CB speaker, all these wires, cables, extension cords, and stuff. Okay. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Oh. oh, and there's my Sirius. Oh, I miss Sirius, dude. 
that's one of the things I really miss. Because I can't listen to Sirius while I'm doing right away. I can't vlog while we're doing right away. Maybe I need to change companies. Or just stop working for somebody else and start working for me. And I don't have to worry about that crap anymore. Awesome. It still works. Very, very nice. And it's recording right now. Ooh, recording this. I'm not going to add any footage from this camera into the vlog. What would be the point of that? Please be extra work. Time for a spot of tea. Mom made some brownies. They just came out of the oven, so they got to cool down a bit. And I got to let my tea soak. And Mom just put the uh, lasagna in the oven to start cooking and warming up and everything. Oh, yeah. Got some peach wine. It's definitely not the Texas wine. But we have to go back to Texas to get real peach wine because this peach wine here all it is is regular grape California wine with peach flavor in it so I haven't tasted them yet but maybe later well I had two cups of tea and it's about noon mom's uh, making deviled eggs with the Easter eggs yeah like I said earlier we're having Easter early because the Dottie's going back to Ohio this Friday and it's very windy today well it's not very windy but definitely windy and it's kind of cold well at least it's too cold for this gator you know I don't know I still wish I could go back to Florida but I don't think that's gonna be happening anytime soon and mom's doing the last egg right now turning Easter eggs into devil eggs and you still got the color, so that's cool. And then what do you got cooking in the oven right now, Ma? I have a tray of lasagna, and I got some baked beans cooking, and I made coleslaw, and I bought potato salad, I bought macaroni salad, and we're going to have some mixed vegetables and some mashed potatoes and ham, and maybe meatballs. All kinds of goodies. All kinds of goodies, because it's Easter dinner. But it's not really Easter. It's just so Dottie can have Easter with her daughter and her granddaughter. So I thought that would be a nice gesture. All right, the spread is out. The food's done. The grandmas already have a start on eating. Christina's holding Francine. And I'm about to make my plate. Check all this out. Mm. Ham. A meat the bowl. Mashed potatoes, corn and green bean mix, lasagna, baked beans, uh, potato salad, coleslaw, uh, macaroni salad, rolls, and devil Easter eggs. Ooh, nom, 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 nom. Oh man, look at my plate. It's all piled really high. It's almost like Thanksgiving. I hope I can eat all this. I'm on my way down to across town here to go get my sister Angelina at mom's request because she wants Angelina to have uh, some of this, uh, some food because there's a whole bunch of it. So why not get some to, you know, my sister? And then I'll we'll have to take her to work later on too. All right, I finally made it down to where Angelina lives. And uh, had a caller because I guess she fell back to sleep. You know, she goes to work at six today, but she's just going to lay in bed all day. I mean, what's up with that? You know, hell, I've been up since 4:45 this morning, and it's uh, what time is it? Uh, it's 2:52 in the afternoon right now. Yeah, I kind of running out of steam. You know, not only for being up so long, and I, you know. Plus, I just ate, so. <sighs> I'm tired. I can't believe I ate all. What's the other little thing go? I can't believe I ate the whole thing. <laughs>
One of her neighbors is practicing the trumpet, it sounds like. Little pieces here and there. Here she comes finally. After sitting here 20, 30 minutes, she finally shows up. She looks all mad. I don't know what's going on. All right, we're back. And Cliffy was all over the damn road coming back. Man, he ain't handling the road or wind very well anymore. I don't know what's going on. She's fascinated with her toes. And chilling all over herself trying to reach her toes. Now lift that up and then put that down. There you go. <laughs> you don't like yourself. She really loves her toes. All right, just took Angelina to work. Well, I dropped her off at Rail City because she has three dollars worth of free play over there, and I'm on my way back home now. I uh, restarted my TubeBuddy account. If you don't know what that is, it's like a uh, thing that helps you find keywords and suggestions for videos and stuff like that. It's pretty good. <sighs> you should check it out. I think I'll put a link in the description below where you can check it out. It's pretty good. I like it. Works for me. Worked in the past and should be working again for me. <laughs> Yep, yep. Man, we just got done having like a little mini photo shoot. I dug out my Nikon D7100 and uh, took some photos. I don't know. Tell to even turn it off. And uh, let me tell you something. It's very hard to take photos of babies. They're moving around, they're getting fussy, they're drooling everywhere, they're not looking where you tell them to look. Nothing, okay? So I don't know how these guys and girls that do uh, baby photography can do it. I don't know how. And, uh, yeah, so anyways, on a different note, I need to go back to Angelina. Because when she came, she didn't finish all her food. So mom constructed a little to-go box and gave her some of the brownies she made. And we gotta go. Right, mom? Okay, food is delivered to Angelina. Now we're going to go back to the house and pick up Dottie, Christina, and little Francini the Peppercini. And we're going to go to In-N-Out Burger. Christina's been bugging me the whole time that Dottie's been here, at least a week, maybe two weeks, that she wants In-N-Out. And it'd be a good thing to go anyway because In-N-Out is not in Ohio. And Dottie leaves this Friday afternoon on the train. And I'll be working during then, so... Tonight, Sunday night, March 26, is basically my last night of any kind of driving around for Dottie. Alright, we are here. Holy shit, look at this place. There's the drive through And all this, there is no parking here. Man, this is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Man, I have to look inside, dude. There's no seating. Not at all. Not at all. So, what we're going to do, we are going to go about a mile east to the TA truck stop to the FUD Ruckers. Over there where you can build your own sandwich, but they close. They, they're not 24-7 over there So we're going to have to think of something So anyway, we'll go over there and see what the story is with that 
Well, Fud Records is closed. I just Googled it. So we're back over here, but now we got a, a handicap spot. Mom's going in to scout it out because they're still super busy in there. Well, there's a bunch of teeny boppers leaving right there. So this could work. Hmm. All right, we managed to get a spot real super close to the door. Mom came in and scouted, of course, and she called and says, come now, fast, fast, come fast, come fast. Like, what the hell, is this the military all of a sudden? And which, in a way, it kind of was as a military operation to come in here and get a chair. And Francine is all excited about it. What do you got to say, Private? <laughs> She's still wondering why she's here. <laughs> like, you know, your yeah, because she don't normally come out this late, so she's a little bit confused for why we're out. Usually it's like bright and early in the morning going to doctors and stuff, but not this late at night to go to a burger joint. Well, I think In-N-Out Burger was a success with Dottie. Was it a success? Yes. She, she loves it. So what's your review? First time having it. Good. Good. Awesome. It's good. Okay, we're on our way home and we had to stop by Dottie's and took a picture with Dottie in front of Dottie's. And I'm going to put that on my own personal Facebook and I'm going to put this put this photo here in this vlog too for y'all to see what it looks like. Alright guys, it's been a very, very long day for me. It's 9.36 p.m. right now, and I've been up since quarter to five this morning. So I'm going to close this vlog out, and I will see you guys tomorrow.